boys and girls. Welcome to Silly Point. Cheers. I think our first Silly Point of the year, and it's a special because look at where we are. And I'm here with Dan and Hello. Cornish Coley. Chaps. Hello, T. Where are we, Dan? We're at the Oval, mate. We're at the Oval. It's, it's a T20 against Gloucestershire. Glamorgan. What, what, one of them. <laughs> one of the Gs. One of the yeah. Gs. One of the Gs. Yeah. Yeah. The G spot. <laughs> Steady. Um, uh, rain's going to stop. There's going to be some cricket. Yeah. Um, but let's dive into it. Silly point. How uh, how has the season been for you so far, Dan? Quick really round good. up, I think. No, I've, filming wise, I've really enjoyed it. I think the games have been brilliant. Um, the performances have been mixed. Mm -hmm. um, we've we've lost two, one two in the first eleven. Yeah. Possibly should have won all four had we you know applied ourselves a bit more. And that's kind of the big the big thing for me is that you know the batsmen haven't really applied themselves. No. Um, with yeah, obviously exceptions, and the bowlers have been a little bit sort of you know flaccid. Well, as Jerry said, your, your dad, the scorer, he said we bowled 102 wides in four yeah. games. Now that's uh, yeah, yeah that's that, tough. Uh, but you know uh, that means there's there's if we get if we get to our um, our um, you know proper standard, then uh, as always they've done. There really has good. been uh, some positives. Jarrett's really been bowling well, I think. And, uh, and batting. Coles, he had an uh, outstanding knock. Brilliant ton from Colsey. Yeah. When we've been and, good. And you've got a nice really 50 good. on Saturday. Yes. I know, you teed that up. You yeah. teed, the, yeah. teed, teed it up. Well, it's a lovely you 50, actually. Uh, you yeah. know, then you got yourself and out. How did you get on Saturday? I missed that. 52. Oh, 52. 52. Yeah, but, yeah, but from the sideline, when we've been good, we've been very damn good. good. Yeah. Yeah. But there's just yeah. been a couple of times when we've dipped and you think, come on, where's the yeah, energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Come on, Sanders said. Take it out. Need it to click. It'll click. And when it clicks, yeah, we'll yeah. be awesome. It's impressive. We'll be awesome. And we had a lot of players out. I mean, Will yeah. Davis was out last week. Stacey's missed two or three games. And you also, know. Um, one or two performances in the twos, particularly. Brilliant. Josh. Josh McKinnon, 100, 100, 100, 120 in a, in a 58 50. 58. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Some bowling that's coming yeah, through. Young, well. young Will Johnson. Young Will. Oh, oh, so, yeah. Off spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be great for ne ne next season. He'll be, yep. yeah, he'll be, he'll be up there. Threes or fours are doing their thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Sunday's providing us with some really good filth. As always, <laughs> as always. That's, what, that's what we love really about Sunday. Really good filth. What we call Derek the Ron Jer Oh my God, what was that? Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the Ron Jeremy of filth, don't yeah. we? One for the teenagers. Oh uh, dear. Uh, yeah. no, no, Brilliant. Coley, I, I, good round up. I'm aware that you've got a couple of segments lined up for yep. this silly point. Indeed. Do, do you want to cut to man in the field now though, Dan? Or, or should we save that little segment? I think let's save, I'll tease it up though, okay. because we've got a really, really special man in the field. So special that it's actually men in the field. And uh, we went on a trip to Pilgrim Brewery and we also watched some cricket with a big bash cricketer was playing and he was giving it a big bash and a ex... <laughs> and, <laughs> with, with, <laughs> and, and with the ball. Thank you. Um, and uh, you put me off Swing there. And, and, and an ex-Worcestershire first class cricketer as well. Both of them were smacking it to all parts and we were drinking beer watching it. Don't miss that. That's coming up later. Thank you, Dan. Dipped into euphemism TV, haven't we? Well, you have, yeah. <laughs> yeah steady on, uh, uh, Coley. Introduce one of your your other yeah. segments. So there's a couple of things. We're gonna. This will be a bit of a running thing through the uh, podcast, folks. We've all dreamed, and we have, as cricketers, of wanting to play on a on a stage like this, playing for England. And there's a thing called club cricketer. Yeah. Right? And it's just a normal bloke through a series of very... That's my beer you're drinking. No, no, yours is behind you, Dan. No, 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 no Dan, yours is behind you. Oh, right. <laughs> are you cutting this bit out? Yeah, I'll I think you are. Bit. No, I might keep it in. All right. So the deal is, folks, that imagine yourself... That's like, lager. Like... <laughs> So you've done your usual <laughs> trick, you've got a pint and a half. I've Do you got want to start dance. again? So yeah, T, thanks. Yeah. There's a couple of things I want to introduce. One is the feature called Club Cricketer. And uh, what it means is that we've all dreamed, haven't we, of playing for England one day, yeah. putting the whites on and coming out to a place like this. Yeah. Well, bizarrely, through a series of selection oddities and desperation, a club bloke has been called up to play yeah. for England. Yeah. And there's the sort of things he or she yeah. could say or do yeah. when they get in the changing room. Yeah. So, for example... Turning up in their whites is one. Turning up Turning in their whites, whites is yeah. probably But yeah. Ben Stokes might say, you know, we start at 11. Yeah. 
relax, mate. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll be here for nine o'clock for warm up. Yeah. What would club cricketer say? Well, 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 cricket bloke, because I think he's cool. Yeah. Um, cricket bloke would say, well, I can't do that. I've got to take my kid yes. to, to, to swimming. Or practice. could somebody pick me up on the way? Yes, yes. There's that. Very good. Yeah. And yeah. Um, he, he gets to the ground and uh, we're batting. And he's, you know, not very happy at that because he's got to nip off early <coughs> as well. Goes to his bag. Oh, God. Anybody got a box I can... Yes. Yeah, anyone got a spare box? Kit, yeah, spare yeah. box, yeah. Get a kit. He'd definitely be in a uh, wrong kit as well. He'd have a yeah. cap from a well, club he played for. Yeah, or, that's true. Not a different shirt. Dirty yeah. white. But I, Dirty white. I think cricket bloke might actually think, oh, I really don't want to bat first. I had a few last night and, <laughs> and I want a little kip in the changing room. So you ring it, you go, Stokesy, mate, um, if you win the toss, can we have a bat, please? <laughs> yes. that, that happens, doesn't it? That's cricket bloke. Well, and at T, he's the fella that's up there first has got oh, the yeah. biggest plate of food yeah. and moans that there's no pork pies or something Scotch like that. Scotch eggs. Scotch eggs. And yeah. Scotch eggs. Scotch eggs. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what I got tonight. Yeah, I know you yeah. did. Yeah. That's the homage. Classic. So, viewer, um, have a think and perhaps yeah. down below. It's a comment, isn't yeah. it? You know, yeah. we can yeah. keep this going. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, that'd be good. Cricket bloke. Comment yeah. below. Yeah, absolutely. Cricket bloke. Uh, yeah. Good. Um, I've waited too long already. Let's go to our man in the field. Let's have a look at your trip to Pilgrim Brewery. Brilliant. All right. So, well, I've teed it up already. It was bloody hilarious and brilliant fun. Here we have man in the field from Pilgrim Brewery. Well, here we are at the fabulous Pilgrim Brewery. Which is a magnificent place. You really should come down here whenever you can. There's the tap room. Lovely, lovely space. There's the, the main bar in there, which is just glorious. Um, and in here, you've got... This is where the magic happens. This is where the beer is brewed. And, um, and we're all just sitting in here. <laughs> just glorious. And, and uh, yeah, it's been a great day. Been a great day. So, uh, cheers. Just over this wall here, we've got the Rygate Priory Clubhouse, and it's, the sun's starting to set, it's looking lovely. What more could you want? Beer and cricket. So, uh, the guy that's not the number seven is Alex Ross. Um, there he is, number five, Alex Ross. <laughs> plays for Sydney Thunder in the Big Bash League and today he's playing for Rygate Priory in a T20 match against uh, Old Wick Giftians, a team that Sana said played just a couple of weeks ago. Rygate Priory are 46 for one after four overs so uh, I think we know which way the result's going. That's a lovely, lovely clip off his legs. That looked just like Josh McKinnon, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're just saying here, it's a pity that Rygate probably didn't bat first because they probably would have got 300. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. See, this is... a bit embarrassing probably. This is different gravy, I'm afraid. I think it would be embarrassing for us as well. Yeah. Where's that gone? Thank you very much. It's got to go. I have to say, Skaz, you pumped up this bloke, Alex Ross, but he's not looking that good at the moment. 8,000 followers on uh, Instagram, Dan. You've got more. Yes. Uh, We've got way more. We've got 20,000. <laughs> Ross. We're, we're just sending Alex Ross a DM. Inside Riles. <laughs> Fancy a beer at Pilgrim. Oh, a bit of footwork. Brewery on Dan Allen. Yeah. Um, got the so, old this is Richard Oliver, who I think actually is looking better than Alex Ross. He is looking mustard, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Well, whatever that means. Hey, well, I look That's a lovely shot. Does anyone want to share a game changer with me? Mate, I saw the Instagram. Right. Oh, well, that's gone straight up in the air. Pizza, mate. Bad vibe. No? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And Clark underneath oh, it. Oh, makes a great effort at it. Okay. I, I, I might just grab a slice of something. All in vain. Oh, oh, what a way to uh, wallop. Uh, Whack me, Daddy. Big wallop. <laughs> Rossi. More like a 12. Uh, Five to win. Alex Ross. Bang. Oh, oh, it's all over. Pitch it up. 
That's gone over there. Start the car, etc. <laughs> Big bash against Surrey. And that's it. Yes. But you know, that is smoke. good call from Scouts there. So, well, that, that was a bit of fun. We didn't know that we were going to get um, an IPL cricketer to watch and the next first class cricketer in Richard Oliver. So, um, it was only going to be one result here. Um, but yeah, we watched it and thankfully we're also drinking some Pilgrim beer. What's the difference between the keg and the yeah, okay. So, Pilgrim, we've got some magnificent no, no. beers here turning up for us. There's Colsey there. This is Matt. learning. This is, this learning. is educational. Absolutely. Don't know, no, I don't know about education. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an angel pissed on my tummy. <laughs> here we are. Here's the, the bar in the tap room at Pilgrim Brewery. And these two wonderful ladies are, oh my, they've just been... Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. So um, we're now in the bar yes. and... Come through. Come, come through. through. Oh, Mr. Allen. Ah, oh, Matt Harris. Harris. See, we, we've yeah. taken yeah. over. We've taken over. It's magnificent. Here's our, our boys. One, one bar staff trying the beers. Bar staff trying the beers. Yeah, Skaz and McKinnon talking about how to score yeah. runs in front of square. Both talking bollocks. Yeah, yeah no, and Chris biscuits. is trying one of the best beers, Saxon. He loves it. It's <laughs> his favourite beer. Oh, dear. Anyway. <laughs> We've had a fantastic night. Thank you. That, that, that was absolutely fantastic. Good to see a couple of uh, uh, proper cricketers on show as well. A couple of first class, ex first class cricketers. Yeah. Amazing. A couple of uh, got me out before. Richard Oliver, he got me out before in a T20. Wow. Uh, Dan Dalthwaite, he got me out. Yeah. Fabian yeah. Allen played with him. He yeah. got me out in the net yeah. a few times. Uh, anyone that hasn't got you out? <laughs> We've got half hour. I'm going somewhere, chaps. I'm going somewhere. Oh, good. H have you ever what? had. Back, back to the pavilion, that's where you're going, right? Times, <laughs> Have you ever had a, a, an interaction with a, a famous or ex-pro cricketer, maybe an embarrassing one? Well, if I can interject, Dan. Go for it, yeah. On this very ground over there, people might know this, but I've got a relationship with Pat Cummings. <laughs> Pat's all over me. Three or four years ago, I was lucky enough to have tickets for the seats near the changing rooms. Oh, yeah. Before the game, Australia out at Ashes series, warming up, and I was amazed at one thing, the size of some of them, but what really impressed me was Pat Cummings came down those steps, yeah. and I was right on the steps. No, no security in the way. Yeah. And I almost fell in love. How did he see you? His skin was amazing, and really? our, our eyes met about six steps away, and I said, hi, hi Pat, and I found myself just going off into some kind of hyperspace of love with Pat Cummins, <laughs> yeah. and I said, without any hesitation, I said, wow, I said, you look really fit, this is true, yeah. I said, you look really fit, and he stopped in his tracks, <laughs> I said, well, thanks mate, you know, he's a tall bloke, he's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, yeah. really tall, yeah. and um, I said, yeah, your skin looks really hot. In lovely, and Pat was looking at me as if to say, Call the security. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Did he play that day? I'm not did he have surprised. a good game? Well, he, um, he, I, I don't know, I, I can't remember. I was just too in love with him, but yeah, that's I embarrassed myself. I mean, he DM'd me afterwards, yeah. did he? He kicked me right <laughs> up the jack seat. Very but good, yeah, very good. That was me, uh, pro excellent. Cricketer's talk. excellent. What about you, Dan? He must have, uh, well, I, I'm just trying to think. I mean, I, I, mine's not as, not as elaborate as yours and not probably not as embarrassing but it's actually a cricketing story so I once played in a pro-am tournament at Uxbridge Cricket Club um, and uh, our, our pro was Ian Gould the old keeper who's now a, a, one of the umpires on the on the ICC panel very 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 funny guy but anyway um, I had a two ball interaction with Mike Gatting who everyone will know and um, he, he bowled one ball at me which, which <laughs> bowled me out middle stump Jeez. I bowled one ball at him which he hit for six out of the Ground. So there you go. That's, wow, that's the romance. best I've got. What did he bowl? He, oh, no, 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 no. It was, it was too quick for me. He was bowling his bloody no. feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, could bowl, he bowled a yeah, decent medium pace back, back in the day. This was... Uh, 42? No, 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 late, late 80s. He was in his prime. He was really? proper England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you get the gig of a pro-am game? It was a corporate thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You had five of us turned up from a, our company, and then you all got allocated a pro. Yeah. Got Angus Fraser out that day. Not my best scout. <laughs> well, it's more than he can boast. Most yeah, people that's got true. in there. Well, uh, yeah, well, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You should have bowled at team. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's brilliant. Yeah, he would have nicked off. 
That's right. <laughs> Probably. The other Probably. thing that's kind of connected yeah. to that a little is it doesn't go back to, to cricket bloke, but what odd items have you found or discovered in your cricket bag? Because, um, you know, I've packed up playing now, and I put my bag in the loft, but I had a little rummage through. Oh, did you? Before I put it away. Yeah. And uh, back in the day... Found your bag? <laughs> Back in the day, I used to use opal fruits, some say starburst, to, when I was batting to keep my quench yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Always did. And of course, at the end of the season, you'd always find a few kicking around in the bat. Yes, yeah, you would, you would. So the next season, because it had been up in the loft yeah. and all that, you pick these blinking things up and they were all deformed and running and oh. sticking to your whites that you'd left in there all the winter long. The other only item was a porn magazine. <laughs> Yeah, no. I blame Steve Grasty, and if you're watching Steve, it Rasters. goes back 20 years ago. Yeah. Barrel chested Steve for Sanderstead. Good guy. And he was into all that stuff. And I, I think he planted a men only or a knave right, in right. the bag. And so you get Regis home and open it. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to know I, I, I have a story a bit like that. Probably oh, must yeah. have been 13, 14, playing yeah, on a yeah, Sunday yeah. with yeah. Roy. Sunday there must be some that. footage of Roy and Ian Lennon. Jason Roy? Did he get you out? Roy, about Roy, yeah, um, I'm Roy. Yeah. Anyway, um, after the game, my back magnificent wig. That's it. Very, very no. good. Uh, <laughs> very good hair. True. Very, very good hair. Anyway, after the game, my bag was so heavy. Thought it must have just been Roy a tire, tiring day. <laughs> well, Roy, no. I thought it was a tiring day after was... the cricket. It wasn't until the next week I opened up my bag to pad up, and there was a breeze block. And there was Roy. In my bag. A breeze block. Oh. And they had they had put a breeze block in my bag, and I didn't realise. Oh. What was that? Yeah. Building innings. Oh yeah, yeah maybe much. it was a metaphor. Yeah, indeed. Uh, 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 Dana. Springs to mind is similar to yours. It's a food-related item. We went on tour to Barbados in 1994, I think it was. Brilliant, brilliant tour. And I was going through a, a, a real sort of uh, phase of really loving Rockfort cheese. And, and I thought, well, they ain't going to have any Rockfort in Barbados. It just won't happen. So I took some with me. So I got half a pound of Rockfort <laughs> cheese, and I put it in my bag and, and, and took it with me. That was all fine. In your cricket bag? Yeah, yeah. Well, well I just took it with me. Then, yeah, it must have been in my cricket bag. And then, you know, so it's hot over there. So, then, so we played a game uh, after a couple of days, and, and my bag came with me with the cheese in it. And I got back to the hotel, and a couple of days later, there's this really rank smell. <laughs> In, stench. In, in, in stench, stench, and it smelled like really, really bad sort of feet, you know? I don't know if it smelled rock fort, but it yeah. does have a bad foot smell. Yeah. And I thought, what the hell's that? And anyway, I then remembered the rock fort, and sure enough, there it was, half a pound of rock wow. fort, sweating, sweating <laughs> in profusely in, in my cricket stuff. bag. And it was just <laughs> absolutely perfect. Viewers, you... rock fort cheese, give it a go, yes. if you haven't already. I think, Dan, on the, the, the thought of the, the smell of rock for oh, baked in the Barbadian yeah. summer, it's kind of safe. I, I think... Well, it's a cross it's, between, it's, it's a, sorry, T, it's a cross between really bad feet and baby sick. Oh, and you eat that. Yeah, oh. and that, that's when it's good. Break off yeah. a piece of and, bread and... and, and in that case, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to suggest that we wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, we've got some cricket well, to watch. Well, he should have done. Well, Jeez. he definitely should have done. We, we've got some cricket to watch. Yeah. Um, but maybe we'll be back here at some point for another silly point. Darren? Uh, yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Um, and viewers, look out for, uh, there's a game that's going up tonight, which uh, when you get see this, that won't work because it's going to be two days ago, whatever. You have the ability to time travel. Well. Exactly, exactly. A brilliant, brilliant Sunday game played at Goodwood Cricket Club. Beautiful, beautiful Lovely. ground. Some big players there, an Aussie first great cricketer um, and, a, and a Did he get in Sussex there well? second player. No, he wasn't playing. And it was just great. Great fun game. Beautiful surroundings. Um, yeah. and, and this Saturday today where ones are at home to against Chessington. Chessington so it's going to be Chessington World of Adventures where it will be the title of the video no doubt of course. so yeah looking forward to it'll that. be a ride it'll be a ride anyway, very good chaps listen thank you from me well done, Coley. brilliant as always well done, here's uh, the chat telling yeah. us to get to our seats probably getting drowned out and by noise now yeah. so Time to go anyway. yeah good welcome back cheers oh peace out peace out, peace out. I did do it I tried well, Whatever that is. <laughs> Cheers. Good. Oh, yes. Yay! <laughs>
god, before. Dell's going to be livid. Let's look at Dell. Oh, a double teapot. A double teapot from Dell. That's magnificent. <laughs> Oh, come on, you. So, uh, so look, we've made it to the Oval, everybody. T's here. Welcome back, T. And Dan, look, this is what goes on behind the scenes, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan. Turn that off. <laughs> so that smooth swan you see in the camera, this is what actually happens. And look at that. Isn't that magnificent? T, any opening thoughts? It's glorious to be back, albeit in the rain. It's going to stop. It's going to be some cricket. Right, well, ready for the after party then? Cody! Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, no, thank you very much. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>